Greetings and salutations again everyone. Welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. Previously we defeated Ein at the lab. We didn't get Raikou because I end up going overboard through pure age. But we also caught a couple of team members being Hydra and Suit. This episode, well, I did some training, as you can tell. Went to my bow, got up to area 7. Most of my team is level 50. And Soleil has some new moves, a long blast. You got Shadow Ball and Psychic through, well, I got Psychic through level up and Shadow Ball through the TM. If you go to the under Coliseum, you can get Shadow Ball by winning, well, three times. Like all the battles, you have to go 15 to get that. But how Sludge Bomb to Marsh, which is the same, you have to go through 10 battles and you get that. Uh, let's see, someone else learned moves, I think. No, maybe not. This episode, well, we have no idea what we're doing now. After cleaning the lab, there was a clear indicator as to where to go. Did we have the elevator at the Coliseum? You can talk to this guy. You finally finished working on this gigantic tower. We did take a long time to build up what? Go to see if your silver is clean and shiny and sweat called gorgeous. So we have a we have a sort of objective. Brand new shiny tower apparently. Which back at the construction lot is Wheelgam Tower. A whole new area. This is the first time an area changes in the Pokemon game. This place is fancy now. Uh, if we talk to these guys. We're going to go to our our opening day. Okay, let's just head inside then. Yeah, I've got a couple different cardos to take. I'm going to go left, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure that's where we have to go. Oh, well, there's Mirror B. Give me a hand around to us. You're going to face a pirate for us. You know, we're not about to lose over and over to you this time, I'll win. Can I meet it this time? Let me just play. Oh no, my dad will bow by the way. Well, it's been a while since he bowed me, but he does get his jazzy music. Which yeah, annoys me. He's also got a gold duck this time, I think. Gold duck is the shadow Pokemon we didn't get from. If you found him here, he has a different Shadow Pokemon, if you can't gold up. Oh, it's not a Shadow Pokemon, never mind. What I'm gonna do is go for the Weasel Leaf for a quick combo. Hydra and Terra actually work really well together. For being able to use Protect the Synthesis and Life Screen to Earthquake as such, it's just good. I'll see if he will get to level 50 in due time. So I'm just gonna sort of battle through here and get those extra levels. Ice beam. Don't hit fly on, don't hit fly on, don't hit fly on. No! Best drink for fly on, which is annoying. Uh, we'll go for Ferd. Ferd is a bit close to Game Purified at long last leg. I was having to be focusing on Shadow Pokemon as much. I might dedicate a later episode to that. We should be fine for the moment. We know we may have beat team. And we've done with before, so it shouldn't be too bad. We've got a light screen as well. Get that set up. I think there's a healing station in the northern pathway. If I'm correct, so I'll be able to use that. But we've got many of the trainers here, so I'm actually going to speed up the battles unless it interesting to happen. It is a teammate I want to get here though, so I'll, you know, I'll showcase them when necessary. So I'll be right back.
Well, now I'm actually going to make a hasty retreat and say before battling to him, so I may as well have the opportunity to get into. Now, I could have sworn someone else would be there if you caught Ente, or I could be thinking of something different. But it might also be that the Kim's team might change based on who, like, based on if you caught Ente or not. I'm pretty sure the Kim, Venus, and I all get different Pokemon. The Shadows? If you capture the legendary beast they have. There you go, I have a save point. Of course we know the Kim's team, but I'm gonna battle them anyways. Why not? Might as well battle them on video. I just need to be careful not to spam earthquake constantly, even though it's fun to use. I told him last time, this time we should be fine, I think. Look right now when you should have before me. This dab and adventure's gone on long enough. I'll let Kim. But if you can't tell, we're battling on the admins. Basically, this is their base. It's never said anything like that, it's just their base. So also with a fortress and a flygon. I have two members of the team in the exact same as them. He's got good taste, I guess. So go for Dragon Breath or Flygon. And we'll go for Light Screen. Called it. I think he actually won the same moveset the fortress that I have on. He wants toxic and spikes and protect. And last move is probably explosion, just to be a little bit mean. That makes sense. Flag on paralyzed, brilliant. I thought I was going for sunny day. Oh, that's right. Flag on's a bit of a mixed attacker, so he has flamethrower on his flag on. Which is pretty good. I guess. We're gonna go for Dragon Ball on Flygon, and we're gonna use Protect. It's the worst case scenario, Fortress is going to use Self Destruct. There you go, Flygon's taking good damage, and it's fainted. We haven't taken damage so far, which is good. Here comes Wish Cash. Pretty mean Pokemon, I guess. Double edge. Well, that's fun. But now Sturdy can't trigger, which is brilliant. Gonna go for an Earthquake and Razor Leaf combo. Fortress can't get hit, but next one will be hit anyways. I'm mostly worried about taking out the Wish Cash. I think it has Ice Beam. Just you know, Flygon doesn't like Ice Beam. Your wish cash is down before you can do anything. I'm just hoping that he doesn't send out Entei. Because if he does, I'll quick roll KO it. Right, nice, we'll go for Crunch and Razor Leaf. Doing good damage. Fortress obviously isn't gonna take much damage, but it doesn't have much you can do either. I guess double edge not explosion. The game style is fun. Ooh, psychic. That's gonna get terror and not do anything really. And double edge probably out flying on. It's not like Flygon, that's for sure. So we're gonna go for a Crunch on Claydol and Synthesis. And 
there's Entei. Of course, because the Shadow Pokemon is still the level it was when you fought it, being level 40. Dang. So the question is how to tackle us. I know what Entei's going to do. Go for a dragon breath on Entei and use protective terror. Because Entei's probably got fire blast now or something. And we just good damage. Decent enough. Shadow Wash. They just want to take out me. Just want to take out Hydra for no reason. So we'll go for Hurt. Because I know that Frygon was targeted by so Double Edge. That causes Fortress to take good damage. And so how to tackle the Entei situation? I'm gonna send out Marsh. I'm gonna use Amnesia. Fall out of breath for easily. Good. I just wanna do chip damage to end here at the moment. Which is probably hanging again you. Don't say much. Okay. That's all good though. Fortress is gonna KO itself. So I'm gonna use amnesia again. Then I'm gonna go for an ultra ball. Now I did sell all the tower balls, they're awful in gen 3. Because they don't work properly, so I figured I may as well just go with ultra balls. Although I didn't buy any. I bought healing items. Okay. Which is fine. And use the hyper potion. <laughs> I could have healed, but I decided I didn't want to. Well, actually, I couldn't feel. I could have used protect, which would have been fine, but there's not much else a marsh is going to do. Defense Shafty Rose. And Marsh can go for a Sludge Bomb. Entei. And so will use Protect. It's quite effective. Well, Fire Blast is quite effective, so obviously I have to defend it. Yeah, don't get it, don't get it. Oh! Perfect! Brilliant. So now we're gonna go for Ultra Ball and Ente. And you can go for I'm just gonna use I'm gonna use Protect. If you use Protect and Call, it doesn't count as an action, so Protect will still have a chance of failing afterwards. You have to use a double move specifically or fail for attack to get it to work 100% of the time. Ah! Now, what I'll do is for an ultra ball again, go back to. Is Marsh's turn, or Soch's turn, to use a hyper potion on Marsh.
and two blue twigs. I don't have an easy way to power laser either, which is just a way. I'm close to Gen 3, so so is getting here. Sturdy doesn't work in Gen 3. Well, kind of works. It works in a strange way. It basically twice to start moves like Fisher and Guillotine and stuff like that. Double edge, wedge. Smart, that's all good. Try to catch MT again. We'll go for Psychic on Fortress. There we go, can't enter. Now we can focus on winning the battle. Yeah, Fortune's lost. It's gonna use double edge and it's gonna kill itself. A fair amount of money. We could use that to buy more ultra walls because we're gonna need them. When your losses came into hands of Matt and Asko and you take this as your passport to terror and despair. It gives us a green ID card or gurn. If you're gonna turn him back, now's the time to do it. Go on home to mommy. And then he just walks out all casual like. There you go. Um Once again, I think I'm going to speed up. Well, actually, I'm not going to. The reason being is that we have a any green ID card. Just being another point in the game where we have to decide between red and green. If you guys remember what it is, then you can assume what the last team member is going to be. Like, I've been debating on it for a long time. Because I consider over someone else on the team. I had one particular reason not to, but I decided, you know what? In the end, I want to have the Pokemon on the team, so I'm gonna have the Pokemon on the team. So let's continue on. We've got just one door here, but I think from here we get a choice. Well, it's not a choice, it's in you complete one, you get the other, but there's two ways to go. Here, we have two different peons to battle. We we'll battle one on the left. Can we get past this door? Yeah. Okay, so it's a dead double new. It's like a peon Baylor. We're jumping up on some water. Yeah, not a fantastic team to fight against. For me, that is. They keep sending flying types at me when I always have an earthquake to use it to farm. And Shadow Pokemon Beam from Moa. Brilliant. I'm gonna go for Dragon Breath on Jump Love and Life Screen. What would the amount of damage you take? Jump up is power line, which is great because jump up is really fast. You wouldn't think it was. I feel like this, this is a Pokemon that used, has to use the wind to move. Yeah, it's really fast. When we're in the building. I guess, you know, if, that was, if Pokemon characteristics were taken into effect, then some would be way too overpowered compared to others. There you go, Dragon Quest and Squeeze Leaf should do good. Say. Yeah, it looks like we'll be fine at the moment. And it goes for an rain, which is fine. And Sunny Day, which jump up his floor fills, so that's gonna make it move faster. It's 
pretty good, I guess. The earthquake and raise the leaf. And special attack is going up for some floor. It's just going on, on I guess, in terms of damage. One to one shot, one of us. Jump up the other cell. Huh. Actually, pretty smart of it. You go for a dragon breath on jump up then, and use a razor leaf. Ooh, solar beam. It's because the sunny day, it just tends. Like that. It's actually pretty close to KO and Hydra. But not close enough. Jump up, fuse. Giga Drain. Basically, it's just one to kill up. It is all good, I guess. Send out. Send out for it. It's not probably just get hit by Soul Beam and Giga Drain straight away. Alright, uh, some forward healing. We don't really want that. For Shadow Wash on Jump Law and Razor Leaf. Yeah, some forward's gonna move super fast because of Total Fill. Yeah, Fur just getting KO no matter what there. Next up, we'll send out. So, is the quad resists the Giga Drain and Solar Beam. It puts us in a great situation. The Jump Puff is probably gonna just bap synthesis at this point. And it's of course gonna constantly heal, ain't it? It is gonna constantly heal. Alright, uh, Slice Green one off. I want to chance it. I'm gonna go for spikes and try and catch some core. But I'm gonna jump to when I eventually when I win this battle basically. So I'll see you guys then. It's really won after I was game after I hit the record button and stop recording footage for a jump cut. Cards on floor is see then just use explosion. That's why my game's the only one on the field, but that's pretty good. But gotta go heal. I'm just hitting up when I wanna end the episode here. I think I will though. I'll let it together. Next episode we'll continue going through the Wheel Gam Tower. We'll see what more team cipher we can find. And hopefully catch the final team member of the team the member of the team. So I'll see you guys then.